On July 7th, 1993, vocalist and frontwoman for upcoming grunge band The Gits was found dead near an intersection in Seattle. In September 1986, Maya Zapata and three of her friends from Ohio, drummer Steve Moarty, guitarist Joe Spleen, and bassist Matt Dressner, formed a band called The Gits. After relocating to Seattle, Washington in 1989, the band set up shop at the Rat House, an abandoned house in the Capitol Hill District, where they rehearsed and lived. They quickly earned a following in the local scene and gained many friends, particularly in the city's punk rock community. Zapata found a job at a local bar whilst also making music. In 1990, the band released numerous semi-successful songs, which were well-received on local radio stations. In 1992, the band released their debut album, Frenching the Bully. This album increased their status in the Seattle grunge community. The album contained hits such as Second Skin and Another Shot of Whiskey. The band mostly opened for bigger bands on tour, and often opened for their friend's band, Seven Year Bitch. On July 7th, 1993, at around 2 a.m., Maya Zapata left local bar The Comet Tavern in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood. Capitol Hill was well known for being a rough neighborhood and had more heroin addicts than anywhere else in the United States at the time. She stayed at a basement apartment located a block away from the tavern, and before heading home, she stopped at a friend's house. This was the last time Zapata was seen. At 3.30 a.m., the body of a woman was found in Seattle's Central District. She had been beaten and strangled. The medical examiner, who was a fan of the Gits, identified the woman as Maya Zapata. It is believed Maya encountered her killer shortly after 2.15 a.m., leaving only 15 minutes for Zapata to leave the tavern and quickly visit a friend before encountering her killer. An autopsy showed that Maya had fought back, in which she suffered blunt impact to her abdomen and a lacerated liver. The coroner ruled the death of asphyxiation. Nirvana, Pearl Jam, and Soundgarden compiled funds to hire a private investigator to look into Zapata's murder, but ultimately nothing came of the investigation. Bands such as Nirvana, Soundgarden, and Heart performed at benefit concerts for Zapata. In 1994, following the death of Kurt Cobain and the sudden end of grunge, Maya Zapata was seemingly forgotten about, with her killer walking free. For over three years, a private investigator in the Seattle Police Department investigated the crime with few or no breaks in the case. In 1996, the investigation first gained national attention in an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. It, however, did not open any new leads. In 2001, after the case was cold for eight years, using new DNA evidence, forensics teams used a DNA sample from a bite mark found on Zapata's body kept in cold storage until the STR technology was developed for full extraction. In 2003, a match came into the database and identified Zapata's killer as Florida fisherman Jesus Mezquaya, a felon from Cuba. Jesus lived in Seattle very briefly during the time of Zapata's death. An original entry in 2001 failed to generate a positive result, but Mezquaya's DNA entered the national CODIS database after he was arrested in Florida for burglary and domestic abuse in 2002. Mezquai had a history of violence towards women, including domestic abuse, burglary, assault, and battery. All of his ex-girlfriends and his wife had filed reports against him. There was also a report of indecent exposure on file against him in Seattle within two weeks of Zapata's death. Later that year, Mezquai's case went to trial. He maintained his innocence throughout. It was established Ms. Quaya did not know Maya Zapata and that he saw her leave the bar in 1993 before following her and killing her in a completely random attack. It was revealed that on that night, Ms. Quaya dragged Zapata into his car where he assaulted her in the back seat. He then dumped her where her body was found. In 2004, Ms. Quaya was found guilty of first degree murder and was sentenced to 37 years in prison. The 50-year-old Ms. Quaya appealed the sentence and was granted 36 years in prison, starting at the time he was arrested in 2003. In 2007, Maya Zapata's case was featured in an episode of Forensic Files titled The Day the Music Died, playing into Maya's musical background. The episode highlights how Zapata's killer was ultimately brought to justice. 
On January 21, 2021, Jesus Mezquia died in the Washington Hospital at the age of 66, serving 17 years of his 36-year sentence. Zapata is interred at Cave Hill Cemetery in her hometown of Louisville. It took more than a decade, but that tiny piece of evidence and DNA technology finally caught up to a killer.